Okay. The last sessions uh, we have studied about like uh, arrow functions. <coughs> uh, uh, this keyword and all. So today we are going to discuss about a uh, one more thing called uh, a JSON. What is a JSON? So JSON is a JavaScript object notation. So it is a one form of a data storage we can say. So it's to the uh, JSON. So JSON. So how will be a JSON? So JSON will be a key pair value. It's like a JavaScript object only. But it is having the both a like what we can say a key and value should having a double quotes. So let's say I will create a let x equals to I will create a one object. So what is the object? It is again it is a uh, key pair value. First name Virat and a last name Kohli and email Kohli at gmail.com mobile number some random mobile number okay so what we can say so this is a this is the one javascript object we already discussed about the this is a javascript object this is a property name and this is a property value but same thing we are going to be discuss about a uh, what is this one JSON so I will just convert it to JSON just changing a double quote double quote double quote so now it becomes a JSON so either I can use a double quote or no double quote so here this is a one JSON object it contains the key pair value see javascript object only the property value is having a double quote for the string whereas a json object it is having a key also having a double quote clz then x control s right click open with the live server okay so now how to check right click See, this is a, a JSON object. So JSON object is a, what is a JSON? Means JSON is a JavaScript object notation and it is having the key pair value. So that is sure. Uh, next is, uh, okay, that is all. JSON which is a, having the key pair value. So that's clear. The next is what? The, so why we need a JSON? Okay, just I will give one example. Uh, why we need a JSON? So we, uh, let's say you see the Flipkart application. So everybody know the Flipkart application. So this Flipkart application is having a uh, Android application, iOS application, and a web application. What is a web application? So if it is opening inside the browser then it is called a what you can say uh, web application so if i open in the mobile so that is a uh, what we can say uh, mobile application so if it is an android if it is an android application if it is a web that is a web application okay so this same application we are using the both this is a web why because we are using inside a uh, laptop and if same application you are going with the uh, Android device so then it, that is called an Android okay 
okay let's say this this is also uh, one website that is a what we can say uh, speed tester so what it will do it will go in internet uh, internet speed test so you can take any application so that application is having a three modes that is a android ios and a web application okay so why we need a then what is the need a, what is the use of json yeah so json we have a three application android ios web application so all these applications will share the same data okay so what is a what is the same data in here this so if you open a flipkart in the uh, desktop or laptop it will come like this if you open a in the android android device it will same and the ios also it is same so then how to send the data so for all the all the devices all the android ios web we are using the same format of a data so that is called a, a json okay so here it is a json so what we can say this is the a uh, communication so this is the uh, what we can say communication uh, media or a communication data so as we have a english user communication to the one uh, person to the another person same thing is a um, what we can say uh, this is the json is a one thing you can connect with the android application you can connect with the web application you can connect with the ios application so this is a one android device and this is a ios device and this is the a web web so for all the devices you are going to have a one server that is a backend server so it is going to be communicate between the one same data i mean to say so all three is uh, showing the same data but uh, different uh, devices so then there is a term called a json so json will come into a place okay so uh, what we can say so this is called a, a json okay so what is this one to communicate between the all the devices so this is for a android and this is for the ios and this is called a web all three applications it is going to be share the one common data that is called a json okay so json means javascript javascript object notation got it so advantage is like that so for all three or for all the three platform your one language is there that is called a json so android web and ios so android ios web got it so we need a uh, this is the one application let's say this is backend is uh, done with a, a java okay so this backend is done with a java and you have a one more application here what is that application you have a one more python application here okay so you want to communicate between the java applications to the python okay so then okay so again so this is the dot net application let's say this is the a dot net application so i want to communicate between the java and dot net it means this is a one language and this is one more language so there is a again the a json is a one thing so it is going to be communicate between the uh, each server okay got it so dot net or any language you have so if you want to communicate so there is a one common language called json so if you want to see the some sample json so just search for the json 
placeholder is a one website so like that we have a so many websites sir, but uh, this is often we are using just i want to show one json data see let's say this is a post see this is a array of a json see here we have a square bracket and uh, here it is a different for uh, multiple sets of a json's are there so here it is from here to here we can say as a one json object okay so this is the key value see here as i told so both the key and value should be double quoted but here it is a number is there we have not quoted id also this one see here title is double quoted and uh, this is uh, also double quoted so json data javascript means what so only we are going to be uh, double quote with the property value but there is a no double quote for the property name okay so this is a how we can uh, save the uh, data okay uh, so we have done with the what you can say json data so json is a javascript object notation so we are using the to store the uh, data okay so i think these are all the major topics we have covered in a uh, basic javascript so just next we are going with the javascript classes okay what is a javascript classes see what is the class so javascript classes is introduced in the 2015 it's also known as a esx introduced javascript classes javascript classes are templates for a javascript object to uh, operate through the object so we are using the uh, javascript classes okay so how the javascript class will be there so just i will uh, write an example see i think some of you are going with the uh, this one java already so it is the same thing so i will use one class car so this is the javascript class so why we need a class so to maintain the object okay so whenever we created a class then one constructor is created that constructor you can pass the whatever the value you want okay let's say i will pass the name comma year okay this car and constructor are similar similar only but by default it is going to be create a constructor of a class okay so then so what is that this <coughs> this is a keyword it is going to be refer the immediate object or a method or a class so here it is a method is there so that's why it is going to be refer this constructor class or this is refer going to be class to the car okay so then this dot year equals to year okay so i can create a n number of a constructor here okay we can create a n number of constructor it is a possible so constant car1 equals to new what is the class name see class name and the constructor name should be same car so you can pass the value so the first property is what name so i can pass the audi and the year is 2024 something like that okay so if you want to print this one so you can use a document dot get element by car one equals to so car one okay so here i want to use a one h1 hash demo means it is going to be create a one id so that id so here i need to mention okay so demo control is right click open with the live server so it is printing like this so you just use a one keyword json dot you know what is what it is i will tell you in the later section 
car one control s if i just go here see the name is audi year is a 2024 so if you want a specific element so how to do the name control s will go here see here it is a audi is there so what is the car one car one is the object which object so for the class car object so then what are the parameters is there so here the it relates with the car and constructor so audi will be replaced with the name 2024 is replaced with the year okay so this dot name is a local variable this name is so this is the value so this audi is the number of year 2024 is dumped into year okay so then our car is car one is containing the values so that is why it is printing the, the value control s if you just go here see here name audi year 2024 okay so this is the uh, what we can say javascript classes okay so just have an idea uh i think it's not much used in the like what we can say uh the real time the next will come a, a javascript callback so there are four concepts are there what are the uh, four concepts the first one is what the first one is a as js js callback okay so js callback What is a JS callback? So just I will delete this one. So there are four important topics we are going to be discuss. So that is called a JavaScript. What you can say? Uh, call async JavaScript async. So first one is the a JS async. So what is this JS async? In that the first one will come comes a a JS call back okay what is a js call back so js call back so first one will what js call back okay so we already uh, what we can say uh, this is a js call back okay so this is a js callback what is a js callback so just simple in the words so i will call you just wait all right just i will give one example uh, whenever you going outside you tell the your friend so i will call you wait so that is called a callback a callback is a function passed as an argument to the another function a technique allows a functions to call another function a callback function can run another function so just i will show one example okay you have a one function and here you have a one function okay so it is dependent on it here and this is the completion point so this function this function waits for this one to complete so this is called the callback okay so how how we can uh, demonstrate okay so how we can uh, the, uh, demonstrate so just i will go with an example we will get to know first what i will do i will create a one function what is the function the function okay and open close brace and this is the sum x value okay so that x uh, document dot get element by id of uh, add value something dot inner html equals to so my value so what is the value the x 
so here it is getting the x so we will go for this one first what i will do i will call a one function okay so how to call a function not here outside this function body okay so here what happened function so i am going to be call a one calculator function here i can pass the uh, two arguments so that is a num1 comma num2 okay so just i have called a two uh, sorry pass the two parameters num1 and num2 here what happens so i will create a uh, one temporary variable that is a let text equals to num1 plus num2 okay so i am going to be uh, here i will get a num1 or num2 so that num1 and num2 added and i am stored to a text value okay so then i will call a my function here so this will come then we are going to be uh, what you can say call the i will return the value so this is a returning the my value okay this function will return the value of addition of whole number okay so now here what happens i will create a one more function so that function let output equals to so my calculator bracket comma 5 comma 5 okay then we can call this my display function with the value of this text okay so just i will run this one so add value this one i need to define right so for this one i will add our hr tag horizontal line then h2 hash jump oh, what is this one add a value okay so here it is there control s right click open with the a live server so already it is running so it is not printing what is the mistake we will see here we will go to the console so txt is the not defined okay yeah not this one control c control v this one control s see 10 is passing here we'll analyze the code now so here this is the one function this is the one function and this is a so two functions are there here we are calling a, a function so how it will be run i will just minimize here okay the first one is water this is called a my displayer function okay the first one is water this one my displayer and second one is a my calculator there are two functions are there function calling is happened here so it will go for the first once it once it will run now it will go for the my calculator once you run now right click go to open a server it is going for your my calculator and the phi is uh, placed here this phi is placed to the num2 so num1 is phi num2 is phi because we have passed here so 5 plus 5 will be 10 okay so that 10 will be written here so that return value is stored to the output okay so 
then we are calling a my displayer where we have defined here it is defined so my displayer containing the output so what is the output so 5 plus 5 the 10 is the output so that is stored here my displayer output so this output we are going to be passed into the here my displayer so this is the output document dot get element by id uh, id add a value inner html x okay so here what happens here we have passed the output so my display is a function the output is containing the 10 so that 10 is dumped to here okay so now x is containing the 10 value because of this addition of root number so that is the 10 is stored here then it is going to be print like this okay we'll execute one more time once you run the program it will come to the this line that is the this is the line so it will call the my calculator function and it is passing the 5 in the num1 this 5 is a num2 so num1 is 5 num2 is 5 10 sorry uh, it is added here so that is the value with the 10 now so now txt is containing the 10 okay so that is a clear so then it will be written so that written value will come here and stored into an output so now output is containing a 10 okay so my display is a function the output is a uh, this is the value so this my displayer here we have defined what is the containing output so that output uh, what it contains the value 10 so that 10 is stored into an x okay so here now x is also a 10 then document dot get element by id value so that's the 10 is added here so then it is going to be print the value of here so here you will get a 10 value so i will add a 50 50 let's assume so it will run it will come here my calculator in the my calculator it is going to be passed a num1 is a 50 and a num2 is a 50 okay so num1 50 num2 50 100 that is 100 is stored into a text so then it is going to be written 100 so where it will return it will return to the output variable so now in output variable it is going to be passed the my displayer the value is at 100 so that is now the x is 100 now so that 100 which is going to be display here control s if you just show here see here so what we have discussing so here my displayer is waiting for a disk output to come it means my displayer it is waiting for a, a this functions to complete then it will go so this is called a, a callback function okay so it is going to be wait for a function to be complete then we will going for the ne next so that is called a, a callback <coughs> So next is a asynchronous. So callback is what? So one function is dependent on another function that is called a, the callback. The next will be asynchronous in the JavaScript. Okay. So what is asynchronous? Functions running in a parallel with the other functions are called asynchronous. What is a asynchronous? Let's say I will give an example. So you have a laptop and you have given a uh, one 10 page printing and uh, you are opening the YouTube channel and you are uh, browsing the what you can say uh, internet so what is happening here so three three operations are happened here so this is called a uh, simultaneously running the program is called a uh, asynchronous okay so just I want to show here so what is asynchronous means so it will it is doing is uh, okay so it is doing this task 
and simultaneously it will tell wait for a few minutes i will uh, complete here and i will come so again it will it will tell a wait for here i will complete and come back okay so it is something like that so you are doing something so just wait i will complete and come so it will happen within a fraction of second so that is you will not to notice that one easily okay so just i will go with an example so what is a javascript async adjacent so just wait i will complete and i will uh, i will work in and i will come back like this okay so that is a index 20 dot html so doc control s h2 the js okay so uh, what we can say uh, we can say like a js async for this so js async control s i will take the script tag okay so i will call a set timeout then bracket my function and uh, 3000 milliseconds okay so here i will call a function my function open close brace and here it is the document dot write uh, get element by id of uh, something called a demo inner html equals to this is a async call it will be printed after some time okay so control s so just i will use uh, this id attribute okay so here what happens h2 hash demo because it is going to be print the value here right so this is the demo attribute so control s if i just go here so just i will change a 90 to the uh, 20 this is a async call it will be printed after i think control s so here we can wait see if i run means so what is happening here it will not print immediately after 3000 millisecond it is going to be printed so if i make a something 6000 millisecond control s will go here will re reload one more time so you have to wait for a 6000 milliseconds to be complete and uh, print the value so here what happened so here async means what so this is a one function and this is a one more function so this set timer remote is running for a 6000 millisecond and this my function is waiting for a 6000 millisecond to be complete okay once it will complete it is going to be called the my function so it means so this is a, the task one okay the task one is taking the 6000 millisecond it is telling that wait for the task two for a task two for the what you can say uh, so task one is for the wait for a 6000 millisecond 
task 2 is for the document.getDemo in the HTML. This is a async call. It will be printed after some time. Okay. So here what happens? Once you run this program, set time mode, it is holding to print this value up to 6000 millisecond. Just reload it. So it will wait for a 6000 millisecond and it will print it. So if you want a little bit small time control S if you run it see it. So this is called a asynchronous. Okay. Asynchronous means what? I will finish it later. Or else, or else please wait for some specific time, then we'll finish it. Okay. The next is what a promises okay javascript promises will come what is the javascript promises so here also there are two terms will come one is a the producer code one is that one the producer code and one is a the consumer code so this is a producer code means who will produce the code and consumer is a one thing he will who will consume okay so this is the one pipeline so this is the producer code and this is the consumer code what does it mean i will just go here there are two code blocks will be there this is the one code block and this is the one more code block so this producer code is producing a code consumer code is consuming a code Okay, so this is a how it will be work. Okay, <clears throat> so just I will go with an example. You will just uh, you will get to know what is the producer code and what is the consumer code. Okay. So for that, I will go here and I will take a one function so we already discussed uh, uh, what is the function name so my displayer and uh, open close brace then we will pass uh, some x value as a parameter then document dot get element by id demo inner html equals to something what is that something so this is a x something we don't know what it will come so that is a x okay the next is what i will use a let my promise equals to new promise Okay, so here we have a two functions here. Function Okay, what is the function? So there are the two two more functions is there my result or my reset okay my result my reject then let x equals to zero okay if open close brace then else x double equals to zero
ओके एंड माय रिजेक्ट इज अ समथिंग एरर ओके सो माय रिजॉल सो व्हेन द सक्सेस वी कॉल दैट इज अ माय रिजॉल माय रिजॉल्ट इज अ a failure call okay so this is it is there my promise is my object dot then open close brace then we are going to be pass the that is a two functions function bracket value inside the bracket so what is the my function so this is the my display is the function then we will pass the value okay function value my display is a function and same thing function value sorry that is the error we are passing here and open close brace my display bracket error okay so just we need to separate by comma okay so here demo is there demo already it is there i want to take a h3 hash demo 1 demo 1 control s we will go to the browser okay so you just throwing an error the reference something is not defined in the my display index dot .th okay so yes why because we are passing the the x here but here need to replace it control s it go to the browser see here this is printing the okay so what is happening here so this is i have this is my display of one function okay that's clear so we are going to be create a my promise okay so here my promise your promise we are having a two functions my resolve and my reject so my resolve will be when it is a the x is equals to 0 so it is telling that is it x is equals to 0 yes because here the x containing a 0 and you are comparing a x with a 0 that's why it is the my resolve okay is there if i just make a 1 now what happens that is a 1 x means what 1 is 1 is equals to 0 no so then this block would be not executed it will come back error here so it has to be show the error okay so error cannot be a uh, defined so yeah here we have used a error here you are using a error control s so we will go here see here it is a the error it is printing okay so here what happens the promises so what it is so this is called a one producer code and this is called a one consumer code so producer code is producing and consumer code has to be wait for this one so where we need this one if you just see the coco game 
So we already see the Kho Kho game or a relay game. Okay, or is relay games. If you just see here, so here what happens? So he is giving a this stick, and this girl is waiting to for this uh, stick. Okay, so this is called a producer code, and this is called a consumer code. Okay, so if you see here. Okay, so this is a one best example uh, I can say here. So this is the relay game you have seen. This is a producer code. This this is a, uh, a my resolve code, and this is a consumer code, and this is a here it is waiting for a to display. So this is called a consumer code and a producer code. So that is why my promise. So my promise is one thing. It is telling that. I will promise I will give the output whether it is a or success or a failure. I will give the output so you have to wait for this one. Okay, so this is a three things we are uh, we have discussed today. So first one is what the a JavaScript the callback. What is the callback? So what is the callback? So you have a something called sorry you have a two form so this is a one function and here it is a one function let's assume okay so there are two functions are there so it is going to be called another function that is called a callback okay so then asynchronous so this is called a callback so this function it is calling to the another function this is called a callback asynchronous means what you have a n number of operations here Okay, you have a number of processes here. So, like say printing, playing a music, playing a movie, uh, playing a YouTube, playing a song like that. So, it is going to do simultaneous task, and it is internally it is telling that okay, I am going to be given an output. So, just wait. So, this is called asynchronous. So, promises means what? So, there are two code blocks will be there. So that is a one is a producer code and is a consumer code. So producer code has to be producer code to here. Okay. The consumer code has to be wait for the producer code to give the output. Okay. And the last one is called sir, async and await. So we will going to be discuss about why we need async and await. So then uh, it will JavaScript almost all it will finishes. So there is a something a DOM bomb. Uh, a chats JSON uh, like uh, so that uh, that topics will be left okay by next week and onwards we are going to be start with the uh,